Hi, my name is Mark Mencher, president of GameRecruiter.com, and we're here at Darkside Game Studios in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. In this clip, we're going to talk about how to become a game developer. Basically, it's a, the passion for playing video games, and then deciding on what discipline in the industry you're best suited for, artist, game designer, programmer, and then honing your skills toward those uh, careers. One trick is to get on the internet, look at the jobs that are being advertised right now for an artist, for a game designer, for a programmer, and that gives you a list of the skills that you'll need to know yourself to qualify for a job. To uh, get a job, the demo is most important. Uh, for programmers, you're going to need coding demos. For artists, you're going to need demos uh, like these demos we see here, which are sent out. Uh, the internet is an important way to uh, have your demo. Uh, putting uh, things into a computer is not necessarily the optimal way these days. You can see here on the screen, um, this is an artist who is manipulating some mesh frames right now. Um, so that gives you an idea a little bit about uh, what goes on. Typically, you'll be using a software product like Max uh, if you are an artist. And right here on the screen, we can see some wire meshes going on uh, as this artist is manipulating the images. Uh, and getting them to look good for uh, inclusion in the game. You know, besides uh, that, there's the production, the, uh, the producer careers, even the business development and the, ma the marketing careers in the industry, all requiring basically a business uh, degree uh, and then focus your specialty uh, in games and in the game industry market. Anyone who's coming from mass market consumer goods is going to be someone who the game industry is interested in. So even if you've worked at a company like a Procter & Gamble, your skills are transferable toward our industry. Once again, this has been Mark Mencher, and thank you for watching.